Yo, 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 you know who it is? It's 50 Huzz, capping the flag, playing objectively, and I'm playing the Slayer role, combining both roles. It's possible. Possible, possible, possible. Anyway, guys, what's going on? Um, I just want to use this gameplay. Well, actually, it's some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. It's a nice little change from all these infected mobs and fails. And I haven't uploaded any Black Ops in quite a while. And also, I want to review, just give you my thoughts quickly on the Black Ops 2 teaser trailer. So let's get straight into it. A trailer now. When you watch a trailer, it should instantly want to make you purchase the game or just get you all happy, excited, jumping on the bed thinking, Oh my god, I'm gonna buy this game. I can't wait for it. Now, the trailer didn't do that for me. End of, full stop, exclamation mark, question mark, apostrophe, comma. <laughs> it didn't make me want to do that. Um, it's set in the year 2025, which is a little in the future, not too far. 13 years to be precise, which is cool. One thing I didn't like was the amount of aircraft type future drone type things. I'm not really a big fan of that. I don't really like that. So we're just gonna have to see how it plans out. I like modern warfare, and that's the reason I like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Heck, even Black Ops, even though it wasn't too modern. It was still playable and still realistic. I just do not like the concept of futuristic games. Even though it's only 13 years in the future, who knows, maybe in 13 years, reality will be like that. You look out your window and there's gonna be like a massive robotic aircraft just floating out there. To be, hon <laughs> to be honest, when I was watching that trailer, it looked like a trailer for a new Transformers game at times. To be honest, Optimus Prime, it looked like him. <laughs> But how is it going to turn out? We really don't know. It's only a teaser trailer for the campaign mode. It's nothing to do with multiplayer. And also there's a few horses running around. Now I like horses in the game Red Dead Redemption. I'm not sure about Call of Duty. <laughs> Although I don't really see horses appearing in multiplayer. Do you guys think horses would be like a kill streak? Leave a comment. But like I said, it's only a trailer. You, you can't really judge the game or anything like that. You just got to take it how it is. And to be honest, it might be a good thing because when Call of Duty Black Ops came out, even after the trailers, etc., I was not hyped about this game at all. However, this game was pretty decent. I like this game. It's not the most amazing game ever made, but it was a pretty solid Call of Duty in my opinion. The previous Call of Duty from Treyarch, which was World at War, I purchased it and I sold it within one week. I absolutely detested that game. It was so dull. It was unbelievable. I got rid of that game straight away. I kept Call of Duty Black Ops, played it for the whole year. Now, I'm gonna probably purchase this new Call of Duty Black Ops. Whether I sell it within a week remains to be seen. And there was some nice MLG Semtex in this game on the B flag. Pretty cool stuff, and I'm using a Rolling Thunder. I rarely ever do that. However, the Rolling Thunder was pretty cool, and you're gonna see a lot of cinematics in my Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay, which kind of is missing, lacking in my Modern Warfare 3 games, apart from TDM Theater. And Would You Rather episodes will be in my TDM Theater episodes, so normally one every two weeks. So yeah. So yeah, what are your guys thoughts on the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 trailer? Are you guys looking forward to it or are you just going to see how it plans out? That's what I'm going to do. I'll still purchase it definitely as I'm a YouTube commentator and I love Call of Duty. I just want to see what direction Treyarch are taking the franchise in. But there's still a long time left before the game is actually released. It's only May and the game will be released I believe November 11th or November 13th or something like that. Which happens to be a few days after my birthday. I was born on November the 5th. So I was just born to play Call of Duty. There's no clearer evidence of me being a Call of Duty fan. Than being born a few days before every Call of Duty is released. That is just hardcore. Hardcore fan. But yeah guys this gameplay is going to be wrapping up pretty soon. Shout outs to any of the subscribers in this game. Got a barbecue machine triple kill. To any of my new subscribers, I used to call the napalm strike the barbecue machine because you absolutely barbecue anyone who comes in the path of the napalm strike. 
but I was triple cupping a few times in this game, which I do not suggest guys, do not triple cup, especially in a full party, it's just annoying. And just hold two flags, and that way you're gonna win the game anyway, and you also have a good idea of where the opposition are spawning, so why would you triple cup and mess up the spawn so they spawn behind you in your back pocket? It just doesn't make sense. The only time you should triple cup in my opinion is when you're losing and you need the win. Otherwise, just hold two flags and everything is rosy. Anyway, please leave a comment and a rating on this video. Highly appreciated. If you didn't like the video, explain why in the comments and dislike the video. <laughs> there we go. 62 kills and 10 deaths with the most equal captures and the most defense. Latest.